Hello, viewers. Uh, welcome to the YouTube channel, the Capuchin Social Arts. This is a YouTube channel dedicated for Capuchin artists who would like to share their craft to the world. Uh, today, we are going to interview Brother Joyson, a Capuchin artist who is a painter and he's presently assigned in Belgium. Uh, Brother Joyson, can you kindly introduce yourself to our viewers and at the same time, to share something about the craft that you are doing and also what are your present activities. Yeah, I'm Brother Joseph Joyson, Pali um, I'm Cap, and I'm quite happy and content with my life as a Capuchin. Um, okay, since my childhood, I've been practicing uh, fine arts, especially uh, drawing, painting, uh, sculpting, and all that. I, uh, actually, uh, I got inspired uh, from my mother herself because she used to uh, do um, what do you call hand sketches for the purpose of um, what do you call embroidery. So, as a small kid of three years, I used to enjoy the way she used uh, long lines to make hand sketches for uh, embroidery. So, and I used to uh, take a to her to draw some something for me, like small animals, flowers, and all that. As a school of first standard, as a so so little a kid, yeah. All right. So since then, I think I didn't turn back. Uh, I was uh, getting more and more chances. And of course, my parents encouraged me very much. And that helped me very much to, to go forth. Yeah, to be serious with my art life. That's one thing. And of course, at the seminary um, of the captains, uh, my professors and uh, my fellow captain friends, they definitely encouraged me. And all these things put together, um, pushed me forward, yeah, and uh, helped me very much at my art career. Well, yeah, captain art also that way helped me uh, to a great extent to become an artist. Uh, well, uh, but I could, I didn't have much um, of use of my artistic talent and the grace God gave me uh, at the initial level, but it took some time for me to find uh, the, the very essence of my life, uh, especially to trace the grace God gave me uh, by way of artistic talents and creativity. Well, mm, okay. Of late, when I, after my service, the general curia is um, uh, the English language secretary of the order. Uh, when I returned to the missions, of course, I came from the missions uh, to work uh, at the general curia. And then when I returned from Rome, of course, I went straight to the missions because I wanted to be a missionary. Uh, I continue my. Uh, I want to continue my work as a missionary, and then, of course, while continuing there as a missionary in the north of India, and uh, we are especially among the poor village folk, yeah, the artistic talents, of course, that help me very much to communicate better with the folks around, and then that augmented my a wish for doing some academics. Of course, I had some crash courses done at Italy, uh, the Rome Uni University of Fine Arts and so on. Then, um, of course, back home in India, I want to pursue some serious studies uh, in uh, fine arts. And then, of course, by God's grace and uh, with the help of my um, my administrators, captain administrators, I could do that. Uh, all these things, you know, help me further go forth. And uh, I want to learn more about line art. And I learned the fact that uh, the traditional, uh, or oh, okay, the traditional tribal arts in India, okay, practiced by different tribes in India, were line based. And then I want to explore more in that area. And I found favors, uh, especially with the tribes 
So the Gond, the Gond art, Gond tribal art, and Madhubani, uh, and then again uh, uh, the Shrantal art, etc., etc. And I want to uh, further inquire about these and explore more possibilities there to work with um, tribal arts. And I learned, uh, sp especially as I worked uh, uh, as a founding member of the CARP, the Company of Artists for Radiance of Peace uh, movement, which is, of course, Francis much for Franciscan and its focus because it's peace oriented. Um, yeah. Working with that group, uh, the CARP, helped me to, to explore further possibilities of uh, therapeutic possibilities of art. And I could also uh, participate in several CARP initiatives, uh, especially in the formative programs for the kids, uh, the youth, and also uh, the religious. So uh, this again, uh, you know, uh, helped me, uh, prompted me more to explore the line art part of uh, fine arts. Yeah, then, of course, uh, I took to uh, a two months travel program, uh, especially exploring uh, the line art uh, possibilities and the therapeutic, therapeutic possibilities of uh, um, line art, uh, exploring more among the tribal groups like Gond, uh, the Santars, the the Peels, uh, the Madhubanis, and all that. Uh, and I traveled almost two months along these um, tribal belts uh, and explored more possibilities. And I found that these are helpful also uh, to work among the kids, the school kids, for their formative programs, uh, to make them more peaceful, more concentrated, uh, and more creative, and also to help the elderly, especially the bedridden, um, you know, helping them a little bit with simple line art techniques and uh, to find further possibilities in, uh, in fine arts, uh, and then find peace within, um, better integration in life, yeah, and all that. So right now I'm in Belgium, uh, taking part of um, the the international uh, um, what do you call uh, Capitan Fraternity uh, initiatives, um, which is of course uh, something prestigious of uh, the Capitan Order. I'm proud of it, uh, to be a part of it. And now uh, I'm I'm trying to find some possibilities here too. Uh, to work among the school kids and so on. Fortunately, uh, um, uh, the guardian here is much interested in that. So uh, he got me involved in conducting uh, uh, sessions for the matriculation students. Uh, and I have I have had three consecutive sessions, uh, and there are several such sessions to come. Uh, I use these techniques, this line art and all that uh, in uh, uh, in my sessions as well. So, uh, Joel, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to introduce uh, myself and then uh, my way of thinking and uh, making use of the grace God has given me. Uh, and I would like to ask um, uh, every brother in, in the Capuchin order to, to trace your grace. God has given you, everyone is gifted with the grace. As St. Francis puts it, you know, um, we have, we are blessed. Every, every person is blessed with a special grace. Trace that grace and your life is going to be successful and meaningful. Yeah, I always want to lead a meaningful life. Uh, that is my um, wish from my, you know, my teenage uh, yeah, the voc my vocation also is in line with that. Actually, when I explored a meaningful life uh, with the with the with the grace God has given me, that made me yeah, that's what I am now. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Joel. Yeah, I think I, I was pretty, I was pretty fast. I think I'm so sorry. I want to put all these things things together. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank, thank you so much, thank you so much, Brother Joyson, for this privileged moment and uh, uh, for inspiring also our fellow brothers, uh, artists, Capuchin artists. Uh, yes, we are inviting more Capuchin brothers who are into the arts to join our uh, 
this this uh, YouTube channel to be able to share also to the world your arts. Uh, I just recently saw this uh, blessing of your new studio in the in the convent, and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you also. Um, Thank you. And more power to your new ministry as an artist. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, and I get such a such you know such a such a strong and uh, uh, sustained uh, support from uh, the, my my conferences here. The guardian, of course, Father Kenny. Uh, Kenny deserves a lot. Uh, deserves a lot of appreciation because he uh, finds me, uh, you know pretty useful here and uh, he gives me several opportunities he opens up doors after doors and then even even to the point of uh, uh, you know uh, pushing my work all alive on the national television which of course had a viewership viewership of 73000 wow oh that's it's quite a lot <laughs> yeah that's good that's beautiful yeah well uh Thank you for, for this short moment, and uh, we will be seeing more of the works of art of Brother Joyson. He, Thank you. He will be sharing some, and hopefully maybe we can get some some short uh, video where Brother Joyson can share some techniques of how he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for opening up such possibilities. Yes, I will respond positively to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the good of all, for the good of the people of God, yeah, and for the greater glory of good Lord Jesus, yeah, yeah, and to push forth the spirituality of Francis, yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, yeah. We hope that everybody uh, or those who have watched this, this video may find some inspiration from it, and uh, we wish you all the blessings and all the graces from, from God. Until next time, uh, thank you and God bless all of you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.